What's up, guys? It's John Reeves Live, and I am legit super stoked for today's reaction. This is another song by ATs. We actually just did a reaction to them, and in the comments, I read every single comment just so y'all know. In the comments, there was a suggestion for us to watch their cover of Numb before I did any more ATs reactions. They said, check this song out, please. And as y'all know, I'm a huge fan of metal vocals and at the top of that list, Chester Bennington was such an amazing vocalist. I love everything that he has done. His lyrics are amazing. His vocals were amazing. His performances were amazing. He was an amazing person. And the fact that ATs did a cover of Numb, a very beautiful song, vulnerable lyrics, the vocals were so epic and it was a rock song so i'm really excited to see what ats does with this and i'm hoping that they showed their own vocal range off and give it a really cool unique style of their own so let's get into today's video and check out ats version of numb three two one boom oh okay already doing that on vocals Really cool, liking it. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me. Put under the pressure, walking in. All right, so just to really talk about this before we get into the course part, the pre-course, I like the register that he's in. Where he's at sounds really nice with his voice, but like it's different because he's singing it in English. I like it. I wonder if we do that a lot with Americans trying to do covers of like famous Korean songs. I wonder if that happens. I don't know. I like that though. In your shoes. Oh, dang. Okay. I like that. Very different take to it. I like the chorus, it's very different. I'm really excited to see how he does on some of these like really high notes that Chester is like pushing and right before it goes into the chorus, he had some rasp in his voice. I like that too. So like the transition into the chorus, really freaking good. The chorus itself, I feel like it wasn't just like in your face as much as Linkin Park's is, uh, but I do think that they put a really cool spin on it. I like their take on this a lot. Yes, there you go. Dude, I think, like, look, for me, the reason that I like this part so freaking much is because a lot of people end up getting in that thing where like you're covering a song especially as a vocalist that's like so iconic already anyways and the vocalist in it is so massive so you're just trying your best to like at least capture what they did and I don't feel like a lot of people have that mental fortitude to be like all right well I can do what they did but let me do what I'm gonna do instead and that's what he freaking did here I freaking love this I'm going back a little bit I'm sorry but I thoroughly enjoy this type of a cover make it your own don't like I don't want a remastering my friend I want your reimagining <laughs> so clean dude God, that was so good. I'm 
so excited to see what you guys hear. Okay, honest opinion time, guys. I feel like really interesting take on it. I love the second verse. For me, the second verse in this stands out more than any other part in this song. Like, I like how he he does a good job of covering what Chester and Linkin Park did in the first verse and the choruses. I think he did a really good job on doing those. But where he really stands out, really shines to me in particular, is that second verse. And I freaking love it. It's like he took that and made it his own. And if anybody out there does also follow or did also follow Linkin Park's career, um, they also did a lot of remixes with, I think it was Jay-Z or somebody like that. I can't remember exactly who they worked with, but I think it was Jay-Z. On Collision Course, Linkin Park and Jay-Z, this would have fit in perfectly. And I think that he really did a great job of capturing that. And honestly, Linkin Park, I think, would have loved this as well, too. So I'd be interested in seeing if people like Mike Shinoda actually have heard this cover yet and i wonder what his take is on it i would love to see his reaction to this as well too just to see like what his thoughts were i bet he likes this a lot um and then like two i do like their version like his version of the breakdown because in a lot of rock and metal songs a breakdown is a really important part of that song to me like that style of music doesn't necessarily speak to me personally but i do appreciate what he did there i think it was really cool like that's his way of doing a breakdown and then the ending man his lower vocals sound beautiful and i don't know if y'all have ever seen this song performed live but if you youtube it you can actually hear that like mike shinoda does the lower notes and Chester Bennington does the higher notes live. So they'll all sing like the low notes that he was singing there. And then the higher falsetto that he had. Those are actually two different parts that normally Mike would sing the low parts. Chester would sing the high part. So all together, dude did a great job and actually probably paid a lot more homage to the band and their original idea of how they perform music. He probably did that band more justice than most any other cover I've seen out there. And as I said, I think covers are cool, but this was more of a reimagining, and I like this better. It takes more creativity. So any of the times you hear songs that are like pop goes metal or something like this, this was like metal slash rock goes like whatever genre you would call this. And it's really cool. I really dug it. So either way, guys, amazing freaking song. Thank you so much for the suggestion. And if anybody has any other suggestions y'all would like me to check out on this channel, please either join our discord which the link will be in the description or you guys can just comment it down below and like i said i see every single comment that comes through here i try to respond to as many as humanly possible until next time guys have a blessed rest of your day take care of each other spread some positivity and if anybody needs anything at all all of my socials are at john reeves live and i will respond to y'all's message as soon as i get it have a blessed rest of your day and i will catch y'all next time freaking turtles